What's up guys, welcome to Master Builders. Well, I've got some news, um, so, I haven't posted in a long time, I have realised that, but things have been quite busy lately with um, the whole coronavirus situation, plus also I have school finishing now, and uh, yeah, uh, I've been sent home to isolate, so now I'm actually able to find more time to put videos. Throughout all this time I've had loads of other projects ready, um, loads of videos ready to be recorded. Um, I just haven't really found the time to do that yet. Also, um, in other news, I'm planning to start a new series. Today will be the first video of that series and it's going to be called Mech Suit Monday. So basically, as the name suggests, the whole theme of it are mech suits. I used to be a massive Ninjago fan and uh, mech suits, as some of you might know, are probably some of the biggest things in sets. So I've been designing my own mechs recently and I've basically made some structures and then putting some more finished designs on it and I'll show you how to do one of those today. So without further ado, let's crack on to the video.
So this is the torso. Uh, basically, I know uh, there were a bit of mishaps during the build. Basically, it's sort of um, just a bunch of snot plates at the back. Then it's got this bit here, which covers the sides. We've got this bit here, which will be sort of like the door um, to open it. And basically, this bit here is where your minifigures will sit. Then these ball joints here are for the connections for the arms and legs. And speaking of arms and legs, let's get on to board of those. So I'll go through this one, talking about it step by step. We start with one of these pieces, put a one by one plate on top, then take one of the, basically this is a small assembly, so if I just break this down, there is one of these pieces, then we get one of the T-shaped bars and put two clips on it. Then we put two wash Technic washers to hold that in place. Before we do that, just attach those on here, like this. So attach that here. Then get one of these again and just keep it like that and then put this assembly which is basically a one by two and then either a one by three or i've done a one by one and a one by two so that there's one stud overhanging and then you just put that like this then for the second bit of the arm we've got this basically it's one of another it's another snot plate then a one by one snot brick and another and a one by one brick with the Technic pinhole. Then just on top of that one of these. And then the snot brick will go into this section here. So then this is like the joint for the arm. Then this is the hand, which is even simpler. Basically just four pieces. One of these uh, ball joint pieces with the Technic pin, you can see that that will fit into there. One of the plates, this piece which will act as the uh, thumb, the holder for the thumb, and then one of these on top. And that goes in just like that. So that's basically the arm and we can replicate that twice. In my case, what I've done, I've made the same design for the upper arm and then instead of a hand, I've made a sort of um, weapon. But you can put whatever you choose. You can put another hand, you can put some sort of sword, anything you like. I've just kept one arm with a hand and the other arm with a sort of weapon. Then the leg is also very, very simple. Basically, we have these three assemblies. We've got the top of the leg, which is four pieces. There's one of these snot plates, one of these ball joint pieces, like, and put it on like that. And then we've got one of these uh, pieces where you can attach the clip to, and a one by one plate. And this goes just like that. Then the second assembly is very much like the middle one on the arm. Basically, you have one of these ball joint pieces, one of these clip pieces, and then two uh, snot plates. And just put a one by two under this one and attach it like this. Then this will attach together like this. That. Then this is the final bit where the feet will start. We've got another snot, um, not snot plate, sorry, a ball joint piece and one of these snot plates. And this will go on just like this. This may look a bit strange at first, but you'll see how this develops into the foot as the video progresses. 
So now replicate this as well. Uh, and yeah, let's get on to the assembly. All right, before we start assembling all the pieces, we have to decorate them first, of course, because otherwise we don't really just want a plain gray mech. So we've got the torso here. Then we'll start off with the decoration for the back. I've already pre-designed these, so I'll just put these on. So we've got some pieces over here. You can basically just decorate this however you want. I'm doing a solely gold and black color scheme. There are different shades of, sorry, not gold and black, gold and blue. So uh, yeah, uh, basically we've got these. Then on the sides, we've got some white. And then we can basically replicate this on the other side. Alright, so that's the back and the sides done. Then we've also got some other parts. So we've got the front, of course. We've got, so we'll start with this bit. Then I've got this shield piece. This is actually from the Thanos mech set. And we've just put a one by two plate there. And the bottom will attach on over here. Then we've got these assemblies, which is one of these one by two pieces with the clip. Then a golden, rounded tile and one of these slope tiles just put them over here like this then we've got another assembly which is two gold tiles and this blue piece i don't really know what it's called this sort of tile piece and this goes on top over here, like that. Then we've got the top over here. So we've got some of these like neon green studs and a golden cheese slope. Just put these on the back like this. And then these last two remaining spots on the top, we'll just put some golden tiles. And there is the torso. Next, we'll go on to decorating the arms. I've already done the weapon arm I spoke about earlier in advance. Basically, it's this six shooter, and I've put some other decorations on the arm. Then, for this one, I've basically got this, which is like this sort of sword and this just goes over here then i've got two blue studs that go on top of the hand like that i've got these four clip pieces with the hole and these will act as fingers Then we've also got some other things. So we've got this um, blue grill over here. We've got this piece which we used as well earlier for the belt. And then we've got a one by two jumper plate with a golden towel and just put that over there. Then we have got a one by three that just goes on here. We've got a one by one 
screw around the top that can just cap that off. And then over here, we've got this golden bar and blue one by two. And then I've just got this rounded printed tile from Overwatch from the Hanzo vs Genji set because I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, like a sort of emblem on the shoulder. And then the last bit for this arm is just another cheese slope over there. Then we can go ahead on attaching the arms. Like that. Then we've got the legs. Same as the arms, I've done one of the legs in advance. You can see what I've done with the feet here, where I've attached the one by two brick and the other attachments. And I've also put some other things on the legs over here. So we basically take this assembly, a one by two brick, two clips, a one by two with bar and two um, rounded tiles. Then we've got one of these inverted slopes that just goes on the back. And we've got a normal slope that goes like that. Then a golden tile, slope tile, cheese slope, like this. Then two rounded tiles, the two by twos over here. Then We've just got some golden grills that go like this. And also one more on the back of the legs. And there we have it. Then we can attach these. And there we have it. So here we have it, we've got the final neck design done. I put the mini figure in there and yeah, this is really nice. I'm happy with how the design has come out, really clean. It looks a bit bulky, but I think that's good because I think it, like all the decoration finishes it off nicely. So I think if we can get this video to 100 likes, then I will release some of, I'll release the exact uh, parts list. And also if I can get to 100 subscribers by the end of July, this month, then I will do a face reveal. I mean, the, the minifigure has already done a pretty good representation, but if you guys want to see that, um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. So yeah. Thanks for watching, all the best, and I'll see you soon.